As you know, Navy's mission is to fight and win at sea. In order to be able to do that, we need greater self-reliance amongst our trained, uniformed workforce to be able to maintain the capabilities distant from base ports or home ports where shore infrastructure provides the larger, deeper level maintenance. It's therefore fundamentally important to us as we grow towards Force 2030 that we have the right skilled sailors that can deliver against that mission outcome. The FSU reform that we will talk about in this video is a fundamental element of this overall reform and will not only deliver strategic reform program savings for reinvestment back into Navy capability, but will ultimately empower us to achieve our mission. In the main, the FSU is all about providing support to the fleet from a materiel maintenance perspective. The first thing is that the Navy is focused on, on reforming the FSUs to make them contributing uh, parts and elements of Navy, a contributing business unit. That has spin-offs both to our sailors in upskilling them, which allows them to go to sea and, uh, and with greater skills, and therefore when they have defects, they'll be able to fix them themselves, but ideally they should also have fewer defects. My perspective is that, and has been for a long time, that Navy should be absolute experts in diesel engine repair and maintenance. Every ship we have runs diesel engines. We should have a team that is an expert in repairing and maintaining those engines. It's a critical skill for us. So I look forward to the reform in the FSU producing a really high-tech FEMA or FSU diesel team so that they can work on our ships, we'll continue to draw on the skills of industry, but it should be led by many of our sailors working with the deeper knowledge on those diesel engines. We've just had a great success sending an FSU team across to the west to do um, main engine work, on, maintenance work on HMAS Toowoomba. So we had the FSU team working in conjunction with MTU, the original equipment manufacturer, to do that maintenance work on those engines on one of our ships. It's a great arrangement, worked out very well for us, and I think it sets a model that we need to emulate um, into the future and more broadly across the fleet. Uh, we're actually currently here doing a W5 with MTU. Um, we're from FSU Sydney. We've been flying over here. We've been over here about a month so far. We've got two weeks to go. So far we've pulled, it, pulled everything down. We're um, putting the heads back on, exhaust manifolds, the pumps, and hopefully today, turbos and that. This is actually the first time we've actually done it as FSU, assisting in MTU. We've assisted them a couple of times in the east, doing just minor stuff, but this is actually the first time we've assisted with a W5. It's uh, basically a top end overhaul, which is just turbos, pumps, uh, similar heads. So, yeah, it's a pretty big service. Um, a couple of the guys are out at Hazelmere at the moment, the NCU workshops, and they've actually had to pull the pistons and liners as well because they've been damaged. Uh, yeah, for the other guys, the, the minimum requirement they had to be selected for, for this, this job task at the time was uh, completion of the um, diesel ASTC and the competency task journal related to that course. Um, so, and then they've been put into this, we pretty much have a work team. We have uh, myself and one other person on this engine here. Then there's another two guys um, down on the ship of to, uh, on HMAS Toowoomba. Um, I think for the guys who've done the diesel ASTC, it's a, a good build up of skills on top of what they learn there. Yep. 
Uh, yeah, I, I believe that through this experience, um, with continuation, it, it'd definitely be confident to do it at sea, especially with the uh, manufacturer-based training we've had and the, the supply of manuals they have, is, it's quite exceptional. So if I do this at sea, I'll be quite confident. The outcome that we seek out of this activity is to make the FSU a greater and more effective contributor to maintaining the material capability of our Navy. So making sure that our ships are in the right condition to go to sea, as well as providing some greater skills, knowledge and experience to the people that we'll be sending back to sea who will be responsible for the care and custody of those ships once they're at sea. One big part of the FSU reform will be that FSUs will be a place that sailors want to be. They'll want to be posted there because they know the work that they'll be doing and they know that they'll be able to pull things apart, put them back together and take pride in seeing that ship sail, saying, I've done that. And I think that's one of the big pluses about the reform for FSUs. Well, we're starting to build up skills again that we've lost. We're actually doing something that's meaningful. It's, um, What we joined up to do really. At the end you know when it runs you've achieved something. It feels really good to actually do something, um, you know, to actually be able to, to, to pull something apart, fix it and then watch it start and watch that ship actually sail away and knowing that you sort of had a part in making sure that that ship gets back to sea, it's actually really good. So it is about maintaining capability. Our focus now has shifted to being an effective contributor in the maintenance of the capability. And that's what we hope will, will come out of all of these efforts. Well, I'm certainly keen to encourage my spos to actively engage the FSUs, to pull the work forward from the FSU to help us do the work that we need to do, the DMO. Um, generally, I think the spos do want to have the FSU do that work for them. They actually like having sailors do that work. It works to our advantage. We're able to take the money that we save out of that work and then reinvest it in more planned maintenance to improve the material capability of the ship. But it does hinge on us having certainty that those sailors can be available when we need them to do the work and that they're doing a good job. I know that part of the FSU reform program is set to actually make all of those things happen and come together for the greater success of Navy. It's important to note that the FSU will be considered to be a national organisation. It will not be independent units in different locations. So if the work that we take on on behalf of a SPO requires that we have to move people for a short period of time from one location around Australia in their FSU parent unit to another location to do the work, then that's what we'll do. If it means that we have to move test equipment and tools, we'll do that as well. Some of the work that we will be focusing on initially is in the diesel maintenance area, most definitely. We will also be looking at work that is associated with uh, antenna refurbishment and radio refurbishments, uh, gauge calibrations. We'll be doing some work in tank cleaning and ship husbandry. So we'll have an initial focus in those areas, but with the intent of broadening into other areas and in areas where we can add real value. There are natural savings that will fall out of building the capability within FSUs to take back ownership of our repair and maintenance. For example, if we can build the capability where we can handle a substantive portion of our own diesel maintenance, that is one less amount of maintenance that needs to be contracted out to external service providers. And we anticipate that those savings could be anywhere in the order from 9 to 15 million initially and will progressively ramp up as LHDs, for example, come into service. And in ways it could be looked at upon as cost avoidance, but really what it really is is a significant investment in our own internal capability, which also has a cost dividend in terms of the SRP program, which is exactly what SRP is about. The FSU reform project is a great initiative and it will produce a leaner, focused and more effective unit. 
It'll be run along business lines. It'll provide work where and when it's needed. And more importantly, I think it'll provide job satisfaction for the technical sailors who join the Navy to do just that. I look forward to being part of this new initiative.